here we are, ready to start day three. Uh, day three, we've only got a couple hours in the shop. We'll try to make the most of it. Uh, the shop we're using is not ours. We also need to leave a good amount of time to clean up the shop. We've made quite the dust mess. And we've also had got to move the lumber and drop it off at a place that'll be safe and outside of the ring. So with a couple hours that we do have, we're gonna try to finish some milling of the legs. We're gonna finish gluing the leaves. Leaves rails? No, we already glued the leaves. We're gonna finish rails. gluing the rails. And then Sam, what else are we gonna do with the legs? Um, so the legs are going to be joined to the rails with a mortise and tenon joint. Yeah, not screws like most of the other board no. game tables that you'll see out there, which are pretty much mm -hmm. Ikea in wood form. <laughs> Carry on. Um, so because we're using a mortise and tenon joint, uh, the rails will carry the tenon, which is the pointy bit that comes out. And uh, the mortise will be on the legs themselves. So there'll be two recesses. That's nice, that's in, good. In, um, at 90 degrees to each other on the inside corner of the legs. So we need to hog out some material on the top of both of our sides of the leg to receive the tenons from those rails coming from both directions. So all four of the uh, rails will have two tenons on either side. I will go into the two tenons on either side of the leg. Nice solid joinery. So uh, the shop we're at today, the guy has a mortising machine, which if you're oh. in woodworking, you know, is kind of a specialized tool. How much does that tool cost? Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I don't know. So that yeah. might be a three, four hundred dollar tool, right. okay. depending on how quality it is. All right. But he's got all the different bits and stuff for it, and it makes establishing those mortises faster and also much more accurate because you can reference a fence. The machine itself keeps itself very stable rather than just trying to hand chisel it. So. Because we have that at our disposal today, that's something we want to get done. So, one of the things we're saying is this table, the rails and legs, are being held together through woodworking craftsmanship, not just screws, which is really right. one of the things that's making this a high quality wood piece of furniture, right. not just some frames thrown together with screws. This thing is going to be solid. Yes. Also, you may be asking, I mean, how do these guys just keep going day after day? Where do they get all their energy? Is it is it the suspenders? Well, here's a little secret. <laughs> that, my friends, is 52 ounces of fresh Speedway cold Dr. Pepper. Keeps you going. Does keep you going. Keeps you going. Somehow, Sam gets the cashier clerk to give him a refill for 89 cents or whatever it is for 52 ounces of the most beautiful nectar ever to touch this earth which is Dr. Pepper so in case you wondered how we do all that we do we dedicate day three to the good, good Dr. Doctor. Pepper yeah the good doctor peace out now I am gluing the next set of rails Alright guys, so we are working on our legs. Very happy with how this material came out. But right now what we're doing is establishing the mortises on the legs that will receive the tenons from the rails. So as you can see here, I have laid out at the top of my leg where that mortise is going to go. I'm here at the slot mortise machine, getting those mortises established. So here's the layout we did before to get everything lined up correctly. And here's what it's gonna look like when I'm done. So you can see that machine is just gonna take a half inch wide swath along the layout that I've established to receive the half inch by inch and three quarter tenon that will come off the rails. So I'll show you how it's done here at the mortiser.
Just like that, we've established the second mortise on our leg.